The new legislation, however, is much broader than that and extends uh, many of the same issues uh, that were covered in the initial legislation focused on sexual harassment now to all forms of harassment and discrimination. Beyond that, and we'll talk about these with our panelists in detail today, the new law does a number of notable things relative to workplace harassment and discrimination. Uh, perhaps first and foremost, it will ease the burden of an individual to establish a claim of unlawful harassment. The defenses that employers have had to date uh, when addressing a claim of harassment in the workplace will be limited uh, and restricted. The protections that were initially extended for certain non-employees in the workplace have been expanded. And of course, the penalties and remedies that can be levied against an employer facing liability have been increased. Additionally, both the prohibition on confidentiality agreements and arbitration agreements has been broadened, as we'll discuss in more detail today. And also, the notable training and policy requirements that were enacted last year, and I know that many of you are dealing with now and implementing as we speak, have also been changed. And we'll cover these issues today. 